Okay. Hey, we're back. I don't know what's happened. We are back. <laughs> and. Okay. Rise. Round three. Same thing. Tactical issues. You're going to get better in this. Do us that. Okay, switch leg. If you have a mat, I think if you have struggled with the, how far to step, I think it's better to stay on your mat. So you're never gonna go too far. Three down. Wait one more run. That's the last one. Good. If you have only one dumbbell, you can do this with uh, the opposite leg, just holding one dumbbell. So you can do on a, if you step on the right leg, then you hold the dumbbell in your left hand. If you step on the left side, then you hold the dumbbell in your right hand. And it should solve your balance problem. So from here, if you do one dumbbell, if you do the left leg, and then the dumbbells come here, and then you come back up. That's all. Try to sit back as far as you can so your chest goes over your knee rather than front of your knee. Exercise done. We get two more to go. First one's gonna be a reverse lunge, just like we did in the warm up, but we're gonna stay on the same leg again, trying to exhaust the leg as much as possible. Then we switch leg, trying to do small steps 90 90. If you just go ahead and do it. 
this right hand the dumbbells goes roughly the same place as before so around the ankle but again don't sacrifice your lower back you want to keep your back as straight as possible and then you just try to keep depends on the weight so obviously she's gonna use both legs I'm just trying to do the emphasis on the front leg I'm trying to just build everything on one leg like I would do a single leg squat or a Bulgarian squat I'm not gonna use my real leg too much it's gonna make it way more difficult but if you have to just bounce back from the real leg By slowing down the motion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down, hold for a second, and then come back up. You do the same with the other one, just stabilize on the front. Just gonna again make it harder because all the leg, all the weight is shifting on this leg, and then come back up. You can also minimize the trail leg working by just lift up and push forward with one leg. So just step, lift, and push. Obviously, we make it much harder. You can hold and push. Hold there, lift, and then push. And hold, and lift. And you can do the same. Always start with your weaker leg. There, stabilize, and lift. So, two things you need to focus on here is again keep everything in alignment. So, knee, hip, ankle in a straight line. So, you don't let the knee cave in. If you want to do something, push it outwards. So, how are you? And then, just keep going. You always want to keep your back straight. You can lean forward so you can use a little heavier weight because your lower back can help to come up. And I prefer to do this way because you're going to take all the pressure off from the knee and then everything is goes to hamstring and glutes. So it's a really, really real leg dominant version of the lunge. Obviously, the more upright you stay, the more you're going to shift on the coils, but can pressure on the knee more. And I just like to go on the same side and always train more in the glutes and hamstring. Usually those are the weak points, so train that more often. So by leaning forward, there is more strength in the hamstring. You can keep that up. And obviously, staying upright, there is more stretch on the quads. So it's gonna build more on that. And the angle of the lunge is gonna be deeper as well. So just see which one you need most. Hey, good. Good, good. <laughs> so in terms of the alignment, if you watch my hip, knee, and ankle, so it should be in a straight line from here. It shouldn't be a gap. See, there's a big gap. That's my knee supposed to be. So I want to keep it. Imagine there's a wall next to you, and you want to touch your ankle, your knee, and your hip to the wall, and you stay in this line as much as possible. So everything is staying here. Don't shift this side and don't let the knee cave in. That's all. So what I like to do is just put a little more pressure on the pinky toe, so a little toe instead of your big toe. You want to uh, crawl into the ground like a cheetah before it starts running. That's what you want to aim for. So it's going to bring up your arch 
of your foot. So you're gonna be staying upright. This doesn't it's gonna stop you over pronating your or shifting into the towards the ankle. So you wanna do this, bring up your arch. It's gonna if you do this, there's no way you can your knee can go in because it's it's just ankle mobility. So your ankle caving in, that's why your knee caving in. So if you do this, it's automatically bringing your ankle up. So just go into the ground before you squat, lunge, always keep this pressure on. Hold, I forget to hold three. Yeah, four. Crawl onto the ground. Oh, sweaty. Hold. Stay alive. Way through. Don't give up now. If you're doing this for us, if it does, hey, great job. So you can watch her. Let me just share this on Instagram. Oh, doing too many things at the same time. And we're gonna carry on here on Instagram. So. Welcome here. Hopefully you can see us still on YouTube. If you go to traincomplete.com, you will see the workout. But until then, you can watch the second half of this workout here. Hey guys. So we halfway into the workout so far. You can watch the first half on YouTube in Italy. And uh, and uh, we just carry on. We're doing reverse lunges. I'm gonna do a little harder variation where I pose at the bottom. She's doing normal version, training hamstring and glutes. And we're doing 10 each leg, always starting with your weaker side. I think she's finishing now. Ten. And it's my turn. All right. So, I'm gonna turn this way, so you can see. Watch your knee, doesn't cave in. Crawl the ground. I'm gonna hold at the bottom. Stabilize on the front. Hold at the bottom. Stabilize. I think it helps if you just stare one point on the floor or somewhere from the view, and you're just focusing on that. It's gonna help with the balancing issues. How many is that? Eight. Nine. Okay, one more. And nice. Okay, so try strong leg or stronger. It's not weak leg, just strong and stronger. Two. So if you missed the first half, we're using the same weight, but we're trying to manipulate technique. And she's doing normal variation. It's not an easy variation, but just a normal reverse lunge. What I'm trying to do is trying to uh, 
hold the bottom and then stabilize on the top so my leg only touches the rear and the behind me not in the front so i'm trying to keep the tension on the muscles as much as i can because we're using the same weight and it's giving her a little more time to recover it's giving me less time to recover so we're gonna kind of feel the same exhausted at the end hopefully <laughs> as young as you can see there sweating your ass off here so it's not easy definitely this is a hard leg day if you did it with us you're great we have one more set in this and then one more exercise and then we're done hey everyone thanks for joining You can try. I'm struggling. It's hard to talk now. Ooh. Like we say, if you can talk, you can work. Last exercise, single leg Romanian deadlift. Are you gonna use two dumbbells or one? Two? Yeah. Okay, let's see it. So it's a hip hinge movement, just like you would do a kettlebell. So what you wanna do here is, oh, if you can't see here, yeah. Why do you need this for? Ah, okay. Let's but Bulgaria, it's Romania, okay. it's ah. another country. <laughs> <laughs> so you just bend over with the straight back, use your hamstring. You mind you just one you can you do? Okay, good. More on the hip. You don't have to go all the way down. Just gonna go for a, yeah, you have to kick your rear leg a little more. Good, that's better. You want to look like a balance or a scissor as deep as your head go your legs gonna come up same height like a pendulum yeah this is really difficult for her she might just need to use one and the other one okay good just doing it okay, just focus on stair one point and you can yeah, down the glass. Yeah, don't look on the side, don't look anywhere else because you're gonna fall. And then make sure you keep the tension on your glutes and your hamstring. Don't go deeper. If you lose the tension on your hamstring or your legs, then you're going too deep. Hey everyone, thanks for joining. This is our last exercise on our leg day. Very sweaty. I'm gonna get up, get some blood back in my leg. Again, you can go really slow on this. 
you have to find your balance and what you need to do is if you don't have if you have a tight hamstring like me you might have to bend a little bit more on the leg we have to treat this as exercise uh, going back and forward so it's hip movement don't focus on going down just push it back you're automatically going to go down at the same time but it requires a lot of balance and stability but that balance and stability is just muscles as well so you want to train those small stabilizing muscles it's going to help you with all the big lift squat jumping running you always want to be functional stable and balanced Switch leg. One. Hope you can see good form. What you don't want to do is bending the back too much. So you want to be straight. Shoulders always back. Just because you're going down, don't let the shoulder drop. You want to pull it back. And then the only thing is changing is your hip position. Your upper body stay. Everything is the same. Shoulders stay in the same place. Don't reach down. You want to keep it up. And then just stay as close as you can to your leg. If it's too difficult with two dumbbells, just hold one. You can hold the wall with your other arm and then just do that way. Very important. Hey everyone. Hey, hey, hey. We're sweaty today. Super hot. This is our second set on the last exercise. If you missed the first one, go check it on my YouTube channel. Can see the first two, first half an hour of the session. Yes, very hard. All you want to do is just treat this side of the muscle at the back, your hamstring, your glutes. If you don't feel that, you might have to bend your knee a little bit. And you always want to keep the dumbbell front of your leg. Don't let it shift towards to your toe, that's gonna to be too far. So the dumbbell always should stay at your ankle. So as you're going down, the dumbbell should stay here, rather than letting it go too far. That's what I see the most common mistake with my clients is when they're going down, I'm gonna show you two legs, they're going way forward here because they just wanna reach down. But in reality, you wanna keep, this is a deadlift. We just don't go down to the floor, but it's everything that applies in normal deadlift. So keep it as close as you can to your leg, and then you just shift down, come back up. We just make it harder to do it on one leg, but everything is the same. I'm staying super tight to my body, to the center of my gravity. Because if I shift here, everything is goes to my lower back instead of my glutes. So you just want to stay here. Come back up. Oh, that's eight. Nine. Oh. Eight. My glutes are five. Oh. Same thing, fine band. Shift, and then back up. You go back to the wall, forward, back, forward. Don't think about dying up. Think about shifting back, shifting forward, back, forward, back, forward. Never do it. 
Uh, last one. Third one. Be joking. Uh, well, okay. I think, yeah, third one. Looks like we have two more on this. Jesus, I'm gonna die. Uh, good morning. Bon dia. Bon dia. Bon dia. Uh, Someone said good morning from Brazil. Bom dia de Portugal também. Bom dia de Portugal. Yeah. It's not, yeah, no, oh, bom dia. Still dia, ok. But it's 3 o'clock here. Boa so. tarde, então. Ok. She is going to take over the Portuguese stuff. <laughs> I only know obrigado. And bom dia. Okay, switch leg, good. Keep your back straight. Hey, don't sacrifice form. If you have to drop one dumbbell, just drop one dumbbell. Okay. And then try to tuck your chin. Don't look forward, look, look down. Yeah. You don't want to jam your neck by doing this. Right, when we go down, look. So upper body doesn't change. Keep everything tight. Just because you're going down, you don't have to look up. Okay. So tuck your chin. Keep the strength. Nothing change. On the upper body, it's just, just your glutes. Go and jump your neck, okay? Side, back forward. You can talk about that one. Okay. I'm gonna try this one. Okay, so it's on the right leg. Hey, Susanna. Bom dia. To the bay. I'm naked. One more round. If you get issues holding the dumbbell, you can use a wrap if you have it at home. You don't sacrifice the gains on your glutes because you have weak arms. Just detach the dumbbell to your wrist. Yeah. She's gonna do one. If you're doing one, you're gonna do opposite arm to leg. So she's gonna do the left leg, holding the dumbbell in the right hand. And you still wanna stay close, keep your arm straight. Don't, don't lift the dumbbell with your arm. You wanna lift it with your glutes. Upper body doesn't change. Don't jam your neck, tuck your chin, look down and come back up. Good, nice, that was a good one. Focus, 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 just the glutes. Your body's gonna tell you if you're going too far. Don't go by your eyes, go by your glutes. Your glutes is your eyes here. Huh? Your glutes are your eyes. If you feel your hamstring cannot stretch anymore, you come back up. But you're coming back by pushing the hip forward rather than lifting your neck, okay? So it's not a lower back exercise. You wanna shift everything on your glutes and hamstring. Good. So she's doing good keeping the dumbbell as close as you can to the leg. You don't want to let your arm go forward. You also don't want to lift the dumbbell up. You want to keep your arm straight. And it's just changing your hip. Nothing else change. Just your glutes. Okay, she 
чисто. Да. Crawl the ground. Squeeze. Last 10, let's go. Easy.